Hey guys, it's Jolene from Smith's Nature Friendly Farms. We are outside today enjoying a little bit of reprieve in the freezing weather that we've had recently. And we are about to join a challenge that I can't wait to share with you guys. Let's check it out. Okay, so we're going to be participating in the single seed challenge for 2022 and we're super excited about it. Now this was started originally by Black Gumbo Southern Gardener, um, or I think it's actually Black Gumbo Southern Head Gardener, um, or his name is Scott Head. And he's new to me, I just started following him based on this challenge, which is exciting. And this was a fantastic idea by him and his channel to have YouTubers like us collaborate over a single single mission of this one seed. Now to be fair, I didn't find Scott through, you know, by this challenge, I actually found him through Flower Hill Farms. So I really want to give a shout out to her. She has a fantastic channel. She is funny. Like she's got some <laughs> great videos on flowers and she's a character. So make sure you check out her channel because that's definitely where these this originated for me from, um, but it originated and was created, it looks like by Scott. So without further ado let's talk about this challenge so if you are guilty of throwing out a lot of seeds and just letting whatever works out work out put a comment down below i am definitely guilty of such things so every year i plant thousands of seeds and whatever turns out turns out I don't have to have my seeds turn out. I'm not surviving on them. It is great when they do. Sometimes I replant over and over again until they do turn out, but I do not really have like one plant that is like I'm reliant on. And that's what this single seed challenge is actually about. It's about slowing down and taking a single seed and babying it to fruition. So I really need to do this. I actually need to do this just because I do need to slow down. I go, 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 and I can get a bit sloppy in my garden. So this is kind of a neat challenge for me because I need to pick a single seed and focus on this one plant. So I have actually picked out four seeds that I'm going to let you guys choose which seed I will actually grow for the single seed challenge. I've narrowed it down to basically four items because you know, you don't know all the seeds that I have. I've got to pick something that's for my growing region. And I've also picked a couple for uh, some additional reasons. So I have picked seeds that, for example, uh, we can actually do a recipe with afterwards. So I'm going to take this an extra step. I want to grow it to fruition. I want to grow it to its vegetable form. And then I want to show you what how we eat it. Um, and even if I've never made it before, I'm going to find a recipe and we're going to learn something new about it me yell at every time I do a video he yells at me that's George or Gerald see he's such a jerk <laughs> anyways so we're gonna do a video on the food outcome of it as well as long as I can get it to fruition sometimes that doesn't happen the other factor in this is that I've picked seeds that are actually kind of troublesome for me. So uh, we'll go talk about each one as we go through them, but I've essentially picked ones that I know I have a tougher time with, and it's probably due to the fact that I don't give them enough attention. So hopefully this should work out. But let's go through the four seeds. You're gonna put in the comments down below which ones you think I should grow, and that's what we'll do. We'll take whatever gets the most votes, and we'll be growing it and follow it all along the way. According to the rules, if you kill the plant, in the process you're supposed to just start again as long as it's done within this year and keep following it along so we may have to do that we'll have to see but let's let's take a look at the seed options okay so the first one is a pumpkin slash pie squash the reason why I'm picking this one is because other than the very first year I was here I have not had good luck with pumpkins. They have died and I have planted massive amounts of them and they have pretty much all died. The first year I had a fantastic crop of pumpkins and then the second two, the last two years I've not done well. So I really would like to have some beautiful pumpkins this year. They make great soups. Uh, my chickens love them and I love pumpkin seeds. This one in particular is a cooking squash so that would mean we'd have to find a recipe that is good for it and uh, would have to take a look at that one. So this is the first option. I absolutely love herbs. The herb garden here is amazing. I have a ton of herbs and Anise Star is actually on my list. 
It's fantastic in soups. I already have a great recipe that I would love to share with you guys that it is an amazing soup and it would be great if I can actually get it to the point where I can harvest my own anise star. Last year I started some but it died before it ever came to fruition so I'm really really eager to baby this one. All right kohlrabi. So I've grown kohlrabi in the past successfully. It's not super difficult um, but the challenge I have with kohlrabi is I never eat it. I always grow it and then it just kind of goes to waste. It's not the easiest vegetable to fall in love with. So I do have a recipe idea for a good salad with it. And I'm thinking if I can grow it to fruition, it'll just make us have to try that salad out. Now the last one is a saved seed. So this is my yellow crunch watermelon from one of the best watermelons I've ever grown. The challenge is that I have not seen this seed available online since I've got my original seeds. So I wanted to make sure that I grew some more to save the seeds. To me, this is a precious variety and I'm sad that I'm not seeing it online, so I need to keep growing it, but I only have so many seeds, so it does need to be successful. I do need to actually baby this one so that I can save some more seeds. All right, guys, will it be the anise star? Will it be the kohlrabi, the watermelon, the yellow crunch watermelon, or the Amish pie pumpkin or squash? Tell me which one I should be growing or babying for this single seed challenge. Put it in the comments down below. And I'll have links to, I'll have the list of these um, variety seeds all in the comments or in the description down below. I'll also have links to the original YouTubers that started the idea in the links down below. And my call out to any of you guys who are also YouTubers, make sure you join the challenge. So um, David, I'm talking to you. I'll put David's what um, YouTube channel in the links as well. And Patty from Alderman Farms, I'm going to call out on you. Patty, you can make uh, a recipe from one of your uh, things that you grow in the single seed challenge. So join us, you guys. If you're, there are any other YouTubers that tend to watch my channel, please join in. I look forward to seeing you guys in this challenge. Awesome. Well, be friendly, be kind.